This instant advanced analysis focuses on a case of campaign segmentation with basis on customer behavior in prior campaigns. Accurate segmentations focus on customers who are likelier to respond, so they generate cost-effective benefits and higher impact campaigns. In order to find the best customer segment, depending on their past behavior, we just have to answer these three questions. Which campaign should be used as point of reference? How are customers who have responded to this campaign like? And how does this customer pattern stand out from the rest? This is the situation. We have a retail company with 1 million customers and 70,000 customers who were contacted in prior campaigns. And we want to find customers who are prone to respond in order to improve the campaign's accuracy and impact, and all this in just six minutes. The analytical scenario is composed by a subset of tables within the retail company database, but we will focus on three of them. The customer table with one million rows of data, the campaign table with 70,000 rows of data, and the response table, which contains 5,500 rows of data. So let's solve the case with Kiteria and DD Web. First of all, we are going to look for the campaign that should be used as point of reference. We use a pivot table advanced analysis. Now we use the campaign historic information to analyze the number of customers that were contacted in prior campaigns. We can see here two campaigns, one with, with 40,000 contacted customers and the second one with about 30,000 customers. Now we can simply calculate how many customers responded to these campaigns. To obtain the best campaign response rate, we calculate the response percentage of each campaign. We do this through a pivot table, which is an advanced analytical technique that lets users combine different fields immediately. It seems that the one on the left is the best campaign with 10% of responses compared to the one on the right with only 5%. We will use this campaign as point of reference. Now we use a Venn diagram advanced analysis to classify customers of this campaign. We select the contacts from the campaign and also the responses that were given to the same campaign. We drag both groups one by one and drop them into a Venn diagram. The process is simple and fast and lets us analyze the intersection between these two groups. When this is done, we can, we can change the resulting values to number of customers. Now we can see the group of customers who have not responded, about 36,000, and the customers who do have responded. We select and rename this segment for a further analysis. After the customer's classification, we want to get the statistically most significant respondent features. Using the profile advanced analysis, we can compare customers who have responded with customers who have not responded. We select the variables to analyze. which are the following ones, age band, gender decode, life stage, town, and wealth. Results show that respondents are very wealthy, male, between 35 and 55 years old and come from a young family. With the results of previous analysis, we are now ready to forecast the response propensity. We use the C4.5 data mining algorithm to create a predictive model and then select customers for our campaign. So let's prepare the model with a segment of all contacted customers. and we select the variables which best define the target segment. H-band, gender decode, 
life stage, and wealth. And we define the classificators responded. and not responded. For this second group, we use a random sample to have a similar proportion as in the other one. Then we train the model. When the training process is over, we have the classification tree in chart format. And due to the chart being a large one, we can also browse the results in table format. By applying the decision tree advanced analysis, customers are classified according to behavioral patterns defined in the predictive model. For example, customers with wealth comfortable, gender male, and age band between 45 to 55 are classified as responded. Once the model has been saved, It can be applied to our target segment, in this case a promotion aimed at customers from London. We create the response propensity London to save the result of this prediction. By applying the model, we obtain all London customers classified in two groups. Exploring the response propensity column, we can see that about 35% of London customers are prone to respond, whereas 65% are not. For a more accurate campaign impact, we should use customers classified as responded instead of the not responded ones. And that's all for this instant advanced analysis. To sum up, we can say that within six minutes we have identified the following key information. First of all, the best prior campaign holds 10% of responses compared to the second one with only 5%. On the other hand, our respondents are very wealthy, male, between 35 and 55 years old, and come from a young family. Finally, 35% of London customers are likely to respond, compared to 65% who are not, and all this with user self-sufficiency and with plenty of agility in the decision-making. So, thank you very much for attending this video. If you have any doubts or need any information, do not hesitate to contact us. We will be glad to help you.